Jesse from Nailed It NZ and today I am taking up the challenge of Polish Mountain. Um, Simply Nailogical, Christine did this a little while ago and she managed to get 117 layers of polish I think on her nails and she posted on Facebook being like beat this and so that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, I'm going to do rainbow polish mountains by the way. These are the polishes I'm using. I have got heaps of reds, oranges, a fair few yellows. I've got heaps of greens and teals and blues. I love those colours. Um, I've also got some purples and pinks and some quite neutral colours. I have got my quick dry top coat there in case it helps at all. But it's also almost run out. So we will see. Um, that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to my channel. I have two new videos coming out a week. Um, and thumbs up this video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll get started. I'm not gonna bother waiting. I feel like that's a rule I have to use for this whole thing is don't wait. Coat one. By the way, in case my other camera isn't recording properly, it is 10.52 when I am starting this. So let's see what happens. Coat number three. Oh dear, this is gonna be thick. <laughs> so I'm up to coat seven and this sucks. No, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven. Um, it's not drying. <laughs> Oh my god, I might try my quick dry top coat now. And this is how 10 layers looks on your nails. It's not very pretty to be honest. 13 coats and this is freaking boring. There was a hair in that one. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of gross and black. I think it's a cat hair. I now have 16 na nail nails of nail polish. I'm gonna go with it. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> They are looking fine. It is now 11.41 um, and I'm just reading my book. It's actually quite nice now. Now I've gotten past the fact this is going to take a really long time. I have left over pizza. And that's what I'm doing. I'm eating that until I can paint layer number, I don't know, maybe 25 onto my nails. Whoa, ho, ho, what do we have here? Something has happened. Like there's a crack in my nail from the polish. Not on the nail, on the polish. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see it in the camera. I'm gonna try to zoom up. See, what is that? It's, it's so weird. I, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of cool. I've learned that thinner layers are a lot better for your sanity. Oh my god, I'm re-watching Christine's video and she had to do it twice because it messed up. And I really don't- <gasps> They can't happen to me. They kind of- <sighs> She started at like nine something and finished at like midnight. I mean like- 15 hours, not 3. Oh, okay, are we ready for number 30? This is disgusting. Look at that. Ugh. It's so thick. I think it's time for another quick dry top coat. Ooh, beautiful, look at that. Stunning. That actually didn't, like this isn't too wet so far. I'm not, I don't know, I thought it'd be worse than this. The polish is drying relatively fast. I feel like the quick drying top coat works in case you're wondering the best way to paint hundreds of layers of polish onto your nails. Use a quick drying top coat every 10 or so coats. Important life information. So this is coat 40 and I actually really like this nail somehow. Like it looks really cool there, you can see all the colours. And I think once I get the rest of the polish on there, the other five shades, it could look kind of cool from this angle if you ignore the general disgustingness of the entire project. Okay, time for number 50. 56. But I am enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would because it's actually really peaceful. 60 in the most popular polishes I use and Oh my god, the I just did no. It's fine. It's it's fine. Nothing happened. I think this nail's actually going on a lean. Eh. What are we up to again? This will be 67. Oh wow, that's not dry. My nails are feeling really heavy <laughs> and when I move them they wobble. I don't think it's visible but you can feel it on your nail wobbling. I 
81 this is layer 81 this is horribly thick and goopy polish I have to throw out half my polishes when I put them back in my drawers because those neglected ones at the back of my drawers are not in good condition I've been snapchatting my friend um, and she said that at the end of it I should like squish it onto paper and I'm so gonna do that I cannot wait I'm gonna I know this is bad but I've got a terrible memory and I might forget and just wipe it off normally so I'm writing smush it oh shit it's okay on a piece of paper I'm getting more and more excited the more I think about wrecking this it's gonna be so much fun oh, look at this one I've actually almost run out of room it's barely anything left on the nail I don't even know if I can make it to the red I just what am I gonna do so 87 we have four more um, yellow polishes then we're on to orange and then finally red oh I don't know what I even think about this anymore it's actually really hard not to make them touch each other because they've kind of widened out and if I close my fingers they're gonna touch Okay, sorry about that, just had like an hour long conversation with my dad, so I couldn't really film much. But I am now on coat 112, and it is looking like this. So, quite beautiful. Um, so I'm what, five coats off what Christine did, so I'll do that, and see where we go from there. And now I think I'm up to 117, well I am up to 117, which I'm pretty sure is where Christine stopped at, I think. I can't believe I'm still doing this. This is ridiculous. I'm really tired. I kind of just want to wipe it all off and go have a shower. Like this has been a lot better than I thought it would be. But it's also a lot of time spent in the same place. And I haven't really eaten today. So now we're at 122. A lot of the nails actually are on these big leans. I'm not sure if it's the weight of the polish or just the way I've applied it, but they look. Oh crap. There they go. Like, what is this? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Okay, so this is number 124, and now I feel like I've completed the challenge and I've beaten the initial 117. I've really run out of motivation. Um, I think I might just start kind of rounding off the tops and make it kind of finish. And so ladies and gentlemen, here we have 128 layers of nail polish. Try not to be jealous of my fingertips right now. So I'm going to take some photos and then I am going to smush them. And I'm going to cut them in half and I'm going to destroy them and it's gonna feel so so good this is my favorite nail and I am gonna squish it onto this piece of paper can you see you can see all right oh my god <laughs> Okay, kids, don't do this at home. Just wait till you're a responsible adult instead. Yes, I'm using an actual knife. I know I shouldn't. I'm doing it anyway. Alright, so I'll use it very carefully and I am going to try cut away at the colour essentially. I want to see if I can cut it away. I think it'll just smush because it's too wet. Yeah, okay, that didn't work so well. What about if I go this way? Oh my god, this is crazy. That actually looks so cool. <laughs> I love that. It's so arty and I don't know. Beautiful, new nail trend, actually. I feel like I'm gonna need a lot of cotton balls for this. Eh. All right. Oh, now nah, it's coming off all right. That's pretty clean. 
Oh, gross. I just take my off a bit. Oh, it's a bit stained. <laughs> That's not good. My nails normally are pretty unstained. Okay, so we are clean, although they are a bit stained, which is annoying, because even though it doesn't actually bother your nails being stained, I don't like them being stained, just for aesthetic reasons. Um, but they're not too bad. They'll probably fade in a couple of days. So, that was my Polish mountain attempt, and I feel like it was successful. It went on a very strange lean the whole time, but um, that was interesting and better than I thought it would be, so, Hope you liked this video, as weird as it was, I have two videos a week, normally actual tutorials, not this, um, but that was fun, thank you, um, Simply Now Logical, Christine, for the idea, um, and yeah, enjoy, and I will see, I'm so confused, I've already done it, bye, subscribe, thumbs up, like, comment, all the things, bye. You may want to re-outline some of it at the end, depending on how good you were at staying in between the lines. It kind of reminds me of being in kindy. Apply a top coat and we'll move on to the next.